most of the UK will be dry with sunny spells, but heavy showers will develop later, mainly around central England and mm. Scotland, as well as the southeast. Yeah, it's a bit dry on that. Wait, excuse me? It's a tiny bit dry what? on the weather Wait, report. What are you? Sorry, but it was just a. Yep. How? Run, run, me a little, run a track there. Don't give me a little oh. something. Let me drop you like this. <laughs> Do you want me to drop something for you? Drop, drop something for me. Let's see if we can. Let's see what we've got in there. Oh, man. This, this is how I drop it down. So, um. <laughs> Got showers on Monday. We got sunny spells on Tuesday. It's a heat wave by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, it's hot till Sunday. Scattered showers on Monday. We got sunny spells on Tuesday. It's a heat wave by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, it's hot till Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Just, that is what we are talking about! Just saying, I'm not. I didn't want to... Oh. You were wicked, but it's just, I think I mean, you need that little you know something. What? I can't oh. argue with that. That was really good. Radio 1 Newsbeat is 8.05, and it's now time to get some local Exeter news from Dan from Bastille. Thank you, Tina. In Exeter News, the, the weekend's country show was deemed a great success after good weather, large crowds and excellent competition combined to make it a brilliant celebration of rural life. Visitors enjoyed local food and drink, as well as witnessing the range of horses, pedigree dogs and birds of prey on display. One of the highlights was the judging of the Interbreed Cattle Championships. For the second year running, Melanie and Michael from Cullompton were awarded the champion beef animal for their British bull. So congratulations to them from all of us at Radio 1. And that's your Exeter News. Smooth. Oh, I love oh. Exeter News. Nice. Oh, good work. I wish I got. I wish you got that kind of applause every time we play a song. Like a <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm going to employ you guys. Well, maybe, should, maybe the baby can actually just stand there and read local news and just do the news. <laughs> yeah. I think we should have more. Exits of news from Dan today. That was fantastic. Oh, I was it. into that. <laughs> wow. Tina, how was that as a news professional? I'd say that's a strong nine out of ten. Wow! What, why did I drop the one? What happened? A uh, slight stumble at the beginning. I did stumble. Oh, yeah, I did don't stumble. Oh, otherwise, Tina, is this first time, Tina? Oh, you, you guys are on a, a harsh shit here. <laughs>